Hi everyone. Guess who this is? Baby SpongeBob do 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 do. Baby SpongeBob do 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 do. Baby SpongeBob do 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 do. Baby SpongeBob. Do, do, do. Mama SpongeBob do 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 do. Mama SpongeBob do 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 do. Mama SpongeBob do 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 do. Mama SpongeBob. You got it. We're going to draw a SpongeBob. Get your paper and pencils. We'll start. You're going to first draw a rectangle. Four sides. Two sides are longer than the other. Here we go. And then you're going to draw another line near the bottom of the rectangle. Okay, then we're going to draw two small rectangles at the bottom for the feet okay you got it and then we're gonna put some squiggly lines no not squidward lines squibbly lines squiggly lines like this it's like little hills that go all around like this like that and then at the bottom as well. Okay. And then we are going to draw two big circles inside. Okay. And then another one inside. You have some eyelashes like that. And then we're going to make a little tie in the middle. You do want to erase the straight line that we have on top of the the squibbly lines at the bottom. Here we go, here we go. And then just go over, if you erase any zigzag lines, or not zigzag, but they're kind of squibbly lines, go over like that. Then we're going to give Mr. Spongebob a little tie. So we're going to do... Uh, rectangle, rectangle, and then another, I'm sorry, triangle, triangle, and then we're going to make these triangles come together, okay? And then we are going to make an upside down U, but it's kind of coming together like this for the nose, and then we're going to give him a big smiley face make ovals here and then the teeth okay it's coming up like that and then at the bottom right first we're gonna make the the arms so you're gonna make a line like that line like that and then like this okay and then here We're gonna do one more line with the tie. Don't cover the tie like this. Okay, and then make pockets. And then for the legs, you're gonna draw number 11. Okay, and then you're gonna close them off. And then you're going to do go a little bit wider on this line go down and make a u that comes out and joins and then same thing wider go down make a u that comes out and like that and then we're gonna color it w and you do want to erase these as well they're sort of like placeholders if you don't erase them that's fine too, but usually this sponge doesn't have the hard lines in there. So there you go. And then you basically, you're going to color all inside except the eyes. Leave them white. Okay, so like this. And color, color, color. So the eyes and the teeth 
okay leave them as white and the rest you're good to color with yellow yellow I think pencil colors work better because they don't um, the the in the markers if you when you draw with a pencil it can get into the marker and make it look kind of blackish which doesn't come out good okay I am done here and for the eyes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna the inside is going to be black so you can shade it in like that. Okay, this one I'm gonna make the nose a little bit dark again. And then for the shorts, I'm gonna leave the tie, uh, I'm gonna leave the top part white, but then this one I'm just going to color brown and make the pockets a different color. And then I'm going to make this also. And then when you outline this, it's gonna all come together if it uh, looks kind of faded now. And I'm gonna make the arms also yellow, but I'm gonna leave the sleeve of the shirt white. And same thing for the legs, like this. Okay, and for the shoes, I'm going to do black, like that. And then for the tie, I'm going to use red. Okay, like this. That looks pretty. There we go. And then now I'm just going to outline. And then one thing I want to do is, on the outside of this black eye, you can do a little bit of blue or brown if you want. Just to give it some sort of sh dimension. Okay, and now you can outline it all. And one thing that you also want to do is that the sponge, right, it can have sort of a darkish holes and you can do it like this. Just take your yellow color or dark yellow or an orange, light orange, and then just make like little circles with it. That's all you got to do. And then you can shade it, okay, all around. Line. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So enjoy while you're doing this. We're all learning. The more you practice, the better you get. And that goes for everybody, including me. Okay, so here we go. Like that, like this, like that. Up and down, up and down. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a line of my eye. Outline of my other eye, make this dark and then dark the eyelashes, and here's the nose, and like that. Okay, then here's the beak, and then dot 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 dot, dot. and my triangles. <laughs> Got it right this time. Here we go, and then I'm gonna shade this. Not shade it, I'm sorry, I'm gonna outline it. Like that. You wanna keep the marker a little bit uh, light on your hand so it doesn't go in too dark. Like this. And here's the pockets, and then I'm just gonna color it black. There you have it, Mr. Spongebob. Do, 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 do. Yay! Make sure you also draw this and uh, leave me uh, uh, comments what, you, what else you would like me to draw and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.